Imagine a world where suffering is inevitable. A world where happiness is fleeting and pain is ever-present. A world where even the most privileged and successful people are subject to loss and despair. This is the world of Arthur Schopenhauer's philosophy. Schopenhauer was a German philosopher who lived in the early 1800s. He is best known for his pessimistic view of life, which he argued is nothing more than a veil of tears, a place of suffering and misery. But what makes Schopenhauer's philosophy so cruel? Schopenhauer's philosophy is based on the central concept of the will to live. The will to live is a blind and irrational force that drives all living things to strive for existence and satisfaction. However, the will to live can never be truly satisfied, which leads to a perpetual cycle of desire and dissatisfaction. Schopenhauer believed that this cycle of desire and dissatisfaction is the root of all suffering. He argued that all living things, from humans to animals, are subject to suffering. Even the most privileged and successful people experience pain and loss in their lives. What makes Schopenhauer's view of suffering so cruel is that he offers no hope for escape. He believed that the only way to end suffering is to die. However, he also believed that reincarnation was a real possibility, so even death does not guarantee a release from suffering. Schopenhauer's philosophy can have a profound impact on our lives. It can make us more aware of the suffering that exists in the world, and it can also challenge our assumptions about the nature of happiness and fulfillment. His philosophy, summarized in his work, The World as Will and Representation, is a stark departure from the sunshine and rainbows we often seek. He believed that life is, fundamentally, suffering. But why? Let's break it down. Imagine you're hungry. You eat a delicious meal, and the hunger is temporarily satisfied. But according to Schopenhauer, this is the core of our existence. We are driven by an insatiable will, an inner desire that can never be completely fulfilled. Our desires, be they for food, love, success, or happiness, are unquenchable fires that keep us in perpetual torment. Now, let's talk about the will. For Schopenhauer, the will isn't just about desire. It's the underlying force of all existence. It's a blind, irrational, and ceaseless striving that underlies everything we do. This will to live drives us relentlessly, even when life seems pointless or painful. Picture a hamster on a wheel, running, running, but getting nowhere. That's how Schopenhauer saw human existence. We're constantly in pursuit of fleeting pleasures, hoping they'll satisfy us, but they never do. Schopenhauer's philosophy doesn't end there. He believed that our desires and the will to live are the source of much of our suffering. He saw human life as a constant cycle of desire, frustration, and fleeting moments of pleasure, all overshadowed by the ever-present specter of death. In Schopenhauer's worldview, we are prisoners of our own desires, and this existence is a bleak, monotonous, and ultimately meaningless experience. The pursuit of happiness, according to him, is a delusion because even when we achieve our goals, new desires arise, and the cycle continues. Now, Schopenhauer didn't stop at just describing the despair of existence. He also offered a radical prescription for escaping it, a path to salvation. He believed that the only way to find relief from suffering was through a kind of negative asceticism, renouncing desires and passions, essentially willing yourself out of existence. Schopenhauer's solution may seem extreme, but it's rooted in the idea that by denying the will and the endless pursuit of desires, we can attain a state of nirvana, a form of inner peace. However, it's crucial to remember that this philosophy has its critics who argue it's overly pessimistic and impractical. So, to sum it up in simple words, Schopenhauer believed life is an unending cycle of suffering fueled by our unquenchable desires, which are ultimately futile. He thought that by renouncing desires, we might find a path to salvation, escaping the relentless striving and suffering of existence. But the question remains, is Schopenhauer's philosophy the most cruel one, as the title suggests? Well, it's certainly one of the bleakest, and it challenges our conventional notions of happiness and purpose. It's a philosophy that forces us to confront the darker aspects of life and human nature. Schopenhauer's philosophy is not for everyone, but it can be a valuable tool for understanding the nature of suffering and finding ways to cope with it. If you're struggling with suffering in your own life, I encourage you to explore Schopenhauer's philosophy. It may not offer you any easy answers, but it can help you to see the world in a new light. In a recent video, we discovered the philosophy of one of the strongest swordsmen and amp, the power of loner. If you are a loner, you will sure like the video.